So this video is based on calculating real GDP. And it's it could be a multiple choice question, it could be a calculation question in any of your exams. But what we've got here is we've got nominal GDP and we've got the price level. And remember, real GDP, um, it, it takes into account the price level. So what we have to do is we have to uh, use the price level as well as nominal GDP and convert it into uh, real GDP. Now we're going to focus on 2016. But what we need to do is we need to work out how the price levels changed and what the rate of inflation is. So what we have to do is we have to work out the difference uh, between the price levels divided by the original times by hundreds. So what we do is we do our 146 minus our 142 to get a difference of 4. Divide that by the original which is 142 times that by 100 to get a percentage and you'd get 2.8%. Now, if we consider if we consider the, uh, the the 2015 price level of 142 as our base rate, and we we convert that into our base rate, and we know that there's been a 2.8 percent increase, we can now change that into a different index number, and we can change that into um, 102.8. So now we've got our price level of uh, 102.8 in terms of our index number and we know that what the nominal GDP is in 2016. So all we simply do is we get this number, divide it by this one, times it by 100 and what we should get is 16293.3. Now, if we if we compare the uh, the nominal here with this one here, you can you can tell that that's this uh, figure here is actually taking into account inflation. We know that there has been a level of inflation, so we know that the real GDP must be less than the nominal GDP. So when we look at these uh, figures, it, it looks realistic. So you can tell that you've done the calculation correct, and you can tell that it has taken into account inflation as well. So that would be our real GDP for 2016.